Hello YouTube. I'm not gonna be before you for long, but I just wanted to ask people's opinions. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all 673 subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. Let's make it to 700. Let's make it to eight, nine, a thousand. Thank you. Um, I was just thinking about something and I just wanted to know people's opinions. I feel like since COVID, um, a lot of people's health have declined. It's always been bad, but I feel like COVID didn't help and a lot of people are suffering. Like for my son personally, ever since COVID, he gets really sick. Like right now he's sick. He called out of work today, which is crazy. And um, I feel like people's communication has gotten way worse, especially in the professional field. So, um, keep y'all posted. So, y'all know I'm trying to get a new job. Your girl job hunting, right? So, I got hired on Friday for a job. And, um, I'm not going to say the company. I'm going to be nice. But, so far, no good. These people are very unprofessional. And I haven't even started. They told me it'll take a month for a background check. So you know your girl not gonna wait for that. I actually have an interview today, virtually. The, the lady actually called me this morning and was like, oh, can we do virtual? But I'm gonna get into that later. But, um, so yeah, I get hired on Friday. So naturally you would think the employer will call the employee. No, I got the phone number through. So I, I was recruited, I was sent there by a guy from Workforce One. So I asked him for her phone number, so I get it. And she's like, oh, um, there's something I have to fill out via email, right? So I never get the email. So I'm calling her, I called her yesterday. I called her today and then I called her again today, like right after and I didn't realize it was her number. And she's like, oh, I call you back. Why are you not calling me? Like, I feel like if you hire somebody and you say that they have to fill out paperwork, they have to do this, you should be calling the employee. The employee shouldn't have to be chasing you down. So to me, that's a red flag right there because if there's a problem with a client, you're showing me your ass right now. You're showing me that you're not going to be helpful. I know that you're not the person, you're not the go-to person. I already know that. Just going through this with her. And then... um her colleague I had emailed her from Friday because um, they said I had to fill out an application but there was something else I was supposed to fill out and um, today's Tuesday she's just now getting back to me so I already know that these people are unprofessional I hope I don't have to go to them for employment hopefully the job today because better paying but um yeah like i'm picking up little things of unprofessionalism and i feel like it's been like that since covid like what are y'all thoughts do y'all think covid is to blame or these companies always been bogus we just never noticed but in general what i'm noticing then you have jobs pre-pandemic even they would say um please no phone call email only um, I think I told y'all about a professor before I graduated. I actually luckily didn't need abnormal psychology to graduate. She's like, oh, I thought I told you don't call me. I said, listen, you put up a textbook outside of Mercy College and, you know, you, um, your link or whatever you sent for textbooks it made a virus on my laptop and i told her straight up i said i think you're wrong for that i'm letting you know what it did to my laptop and i think you need to change it because i know i can't be the only one she didn't care very unprofessional whatever whatever and this was like during the pandemic this was like 2021 i want to say because i graduated 22 and I was so happy so I had spoke to my PAC mentor that's like our guidance counselor and they was like Crystal you don't need thing to graduate so it's fine you could drop it and just go to another class I was like thank God you know 
But um, I wanted to ask y'all that. Do you feel like people are more unprofessional now since COVID? Um, or is it always been? But it's just so frustrating to me. And then with today, so I was so, so with today, right? Um, at the very end of the month of July, there was a job fair. And luckily, one of the ladies was nice enough to tell me that the interviews was happening downstairs in the basement. Had she not told me that, I would have never known that that's what we had to do. So I was, you know, I went to the basement and the lady says, oh, I have to go to a meeting, this, that, and the third. Um, let me collect your resumes and I'll call you. I said, what's your contact information? Because you already, those of y'all who job hunt, y'all know what I'm talking about. When they say we'll call you, they not going to call your ass. So I made sure, I was like, what is your contact information? Because I will be calling you. I let her know to her face. I, I will be calling you. So at that point, she was she had no choice. She gave us our, um, her contact. And I made sure I called her. And I know that if I did not call her, I would not have no interview. And that's what's annoying or whatever. But I'm cool with it. So I was supposed to have a virtual interview from, I think it was last week. Was it last week? Or it might have been the week before. I think it was the week before. Time go by so quick. But anyway, um... I had Wi-Fi issues and I didn't want to chance it. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever, whatever. I think it was last week. Yeah. So we ended up canceling, pushing it to Monday. Monday, I get a phone call and they cancel on me. So it was pushed to today and then they're like, oh, back to virtual. So I'm like, yo. And so finally, I look on the link that she sent me. And um, what should I call it? Um, I asked her, I was like, if I have Wi-Fi problems, can I please call? She said yes, so thank God for that. But I just wanted to know y'all thoughts and your experiences. If you have any, you could write it in the comments. Has the professionalism of businesses and employers changed due to COVID? Or was it always like that? Or is it a millennial thing? I feel like it's a generational thing too, like... A lot of millennials, are they just suck at communication. They really do. And I really noticed that. Like, they just suck. They'll sit there and you have people that will tell you, like, they don't talk on the phone to anyone. And they think that's normal. Like, um, and it's not normal. You know, if you are in a friendship, relationship, or any type of relationship and you've never talked on the phone with the person, you don't know the person. You don't, because how can I know you and we just text it, right? So, you know, that's why they say, um, I seen on Instagram one day, and I'm starting to do it too, you know, use um, words like colleague, old co-worker, stop saying friend, because everybody truthfully is not your friend. Just because y'all went out to a few parties together, that doesn't mean that that's your friend. So I'm starting to use like, um different adjectives for people but i just wanted to know y'all thoughts like you know i've been job hunting pretty much my entire adult life even though i've always had a job i always look for better and i do see the decline of the communication it's just it sucks it really does you know so what are y'all thoughts comment like and subscribe